Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really adorable trick-or-treat candy box. Okay, so to start I am using the um, scallop bag die, um, which is a die for um, stamping up by Sussex for your Big Shot. And I ran that through the Big Shot again with the new spider web um, plate that is in the holiday mini catalog uh, for stamping up. So I ran that through and I got the spider web on the front. And then I'm just going to put the bag together and the bag's real simple when it goes together. It comes with your score lines and you basically just fold everything up on your score lines. Okay, so when my box is together, it looks like this, and it's really, really adorable, and I wish you could see this purple color and how shimmery it is, because it's really pretty in person. Okay, so next, I'm going to take um, some of my elements that you've seen me do before, and that's why I say this is a quick and easy project, and I'm going to cut out um, two of the owl bodies, like so. And we're going to use these again as the ghosts. So again, just clip off their feet on each one. Okay, so we'll have two of those. And then I'm going to take my orange paper and I'm going to use my one and three eighths punch. This one might be a little big. We'll try it. I'm going to punch out three of them. And I'm going to take out my scallop punch. And I'm going to do three of those. <clears throat> and I'm going to put these together like my pumpkins. And the reason why I chose this was that... Um, No pumpkin, if you remember, is the same size. Now this one I'm not sure if I like as much, but we'll try him and see what we get out of him. So then I'm just going to glue those together. Well, before I glue them together, I'm going to go ahead and take my ink and I'm going to go around my edges and I'm going to sponge my, sponge my edges. Okay, so I got all my pieces sponged and then I'm just going to, as I've shown you before, we're going to put the pieces together and my glue's all dried out because I left it open the other day. Sorry. And you just put the two together and then put them on top and let them dry. And then with this one I did change just so you know I started with the one and three four circles and I'm going to put those on the bottom and then I just switched it up to one and one fourth for on the top because I felt like that was going to be a little more sizable with pushing them together and getting it to look more like a pumpkin um, so it wasn't overbearing so that's what that looks like when that's all put together and then I'm going to use the um, the bird punch and with my green paper I'm just going to punch out a few of these little stem tops um, from the leaf. And then I'm going to put these on top of my pumpkin. Just put a little glue on the back and then have that coming out of my pumpkin like his leaf, which I thought looked really cute. And again, do the same thing on this one. And you can do more than one if you wanted to. You could do two. It's just really up to you and your preference and what you want. I'm probably on this one, I'll do two so that you've got two coming out. So, and again, you've got to wait for this stuff to dry. So, like that. Okay, and then for my ghost, I want to do something to add just a little bit of fun and whimsy. So, I'm going to use some googly eyes and I'm going to put those on my ghost. going to drop two on there and then taking the other one I'm going to do the same I'm 
I'm hoping you can see this. I guess I'm kind of out of the camera there. Sorry. So I got two sets of googly eyes. Okay, and then using the, and then I'm just going to punch out a couple of my bats again with my bat punch, which I love. And then I'm going to start to assemble. So I'm basically going to take my pumpkin, put him on my box, have my ghost popping out from behind him. You just got to kind of figure out where you want them to be. I'll do the same thing on this one. And put him popping out. Oop, my eye just came down on him. You know, and you can kind of adjust the height on them. As to where you want them. Okay, so I got an idea where I want those now, so I'm going to attach them to my box. I'm just going to add some adhesive. And I'm going to put him down here on the corner. And I'm going to take my ghost. I'm going to put him behind the pumpkin, popping out. And then take my other pumpkin and drop him off the box. And then do the same thing, have him kind of popping out from behind. My googly eyes are, that guy's stuck, so sorry. There we go. He kind of fell. And then, you know, you can attach your little bats on the top. And there you have a really cute, quick and simple candy box to put your treats in. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.